This is a blend extra. With our continuing series, The Morning Blend Gives Back with Bank 5-9. Well, we asked you first to nominate a deserving charity. Then we narrowed them down and asked you to vote. Our most recent winner is Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin. They have built a 15 unit tiny home village in Racine for veterans who are experiencing homelessness. Join Becky Miller from Bank 5-9 and me as we learn more about this important organization. Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin was founded in 2013. Their mission is to assist veterans in many ways by offering them a hand up, not a hand out. We're helping veterans on all different levels. When a veteran walks in the door, we, we believe that there's always something we can do for them. And ultimately what we're doing at the end of the day is we're saving lives. Whether it's linking them up with housing, with food to put on the table, or other resources, we want to save lives, and in, in Racine County, we have seen how impactful it's been on the veteran community. We look at mental health, suicide awareness, anything and everything that they possibly need. And a lot of the veterans, when they first get back, they don't understand and they're not aware of what's out there housing-wise. So what we're doing with Veterans Outreach is being visible in the community so veterans have a place to come to when they, when they need. In 2017, Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin started the James A. Peterson Veteran Village in Racine to address the issue of veteran homelessness. The village consists of 15 tiny homes and the S.C. Johnson Community Center. One of the main reasons I wanted to go with tiny homes is because we were giving these veterans their own home. Even though it's small, it's theirs. These men and women are coming off the streets, so that initial sense of security is what we try to build everything off of. We'd like to bring all the resources we can on site. Rather than having the veterans go to multiple different places, uh, we open our doors up. Uh, we bring in counselors to help work with PTSD and you know any other mental health issues. We do peer-led support groups. They're there with their, their fellow veterans. They can lean on each other. The success of Racine's tiny village has led VOW to expand and create an even larger village in Milwaukee. This is where the new Veterans Outreach will be for the Milwaukee location when we get it here. What we're looking to build in Milwaukee is 40 tiny homes. There's far more homeless in Milwaukee than there is in Racine, so the size is kind of appropriate for what we're trying to accomplish. But to make the Gary G. Wetzel Veterans Village a reality, they need community support. We're always looking for community support, corporate support. Um, there's a lot of sponsorship you know, opportunities available for large corporate donors as we build the, the village here in Milwaukee. And with the community's help, we're gonna get these men and women back into their own places and back on their feet. Jeff, on behalf of Bank 5-9, we just want to congratulate you and your work with the Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin. You know, uh, Bank 5-9's mission is to make lives better. And one way we do that is by partnering with amazing organizations like yours. So as a thank you and a congratulations, we would like to give you $1,000 to further your efforts with the Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin. Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> Well, that, that's amazing. Um, thank you. Um, thank you for uh, including us in this and also the nearly 2,500 people that voted for our organization. That was a lot of fun, so thank you everybody. Well deserved. Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin accepts no federal funding, so they are completely community funded. To support them or sponsor a tiny house, just visit vetsoutreachwi.us or you can give them a call at 262-221-8350. And if you know about a small charity doing good work in our community, nominate them. Just go to themorningblend.com slash givesback.